Hey y'all, Scripting Critics. I'm here to review Jessica Jones Season 3. It stars Kristen Ritter, uh, Ika uh, Darville, uh, Benjamin uh, Walker, uh, Jeremy Bob, uh, Rachel Taylor, and Carrie Ann Moss. So, it starts off with uh, Jessica Jones trying to find uh, this guy that, you know, he's supposed to have custody of his daughter. And, you know, she, she, like, hunts him down in, in Mexico and, like, throws him on the beach and shit because he thinks that he can strong arm, you know, th this tough bitch. And he's like, nah, nah, that, that's not how it works out here. You haven't been watching the past two seasons, have you? I'll whoop ass. Um, Malcolm is now working for uh, Jerry. Uh, she, she, he, he goes after this uh, one, like, famous... You know, you know, fictitious uh, baseball player that, that's drunk all the time, and you know, uh, you know, is very dangerous behind the wheel because he doesn't know how to put the bottle down. And when I was watching uh, the first few episodes with my dad, he, he was saying that, well, no wonder he can get away with all this, sh sh you know, shit. You know, he said that if Tom Brady killed somebody, he would very likely get away with it. And I'm just like, hmm. And it made me laugh a lot. I'm just like, yeah, and a lot of people would, would would defend him because you know people have a strong attachment to like the very uh, sports team, you know, uh, you know, figurehead and all that. Uh, they they love you know the big celebrity that catches the ball or uh, you know hits whatever. Like it, it's pretty universal for uh, whatever you're talking about. Um. Jerry is still dealing with ALS and she's taking all these uh, off the books foreign drugs and probably one of the best scenes uh, from the show is when Jessica you know threatens to like uh, force uh, the pills uh, you know f f that eventually would will take her out it will kill her it, but it's the only way that she, she can offset the, her issues of like not be able to control her body anymore because of the, you know this, this disease. Um, and the big setup for this season is that Trish is missing, and then we find that that Trish uh, is on some ninja shit. She, she's going uh, full Hellcat. Uh, matter of fact, uh, they they do put her in the the traditional costume very briefly, much like uh, you know. They do little joke teases with that uh, in the Netflix shows, like Luke Cage got the tiara and you know the, the yellow uh, t-shirt and the, the, the chain. He gets it very briefly, and it's like they moved on, and they show Jessica Jones with uh, her jewel outfit from the uh, ALS, not ALS. That's what Jerry has. Uh, outfit uh, it has like the, you know the white the blue and uh, the, you know the bright pink uh, fucking jewel on the belt so I thought that was very cute um, and I, I do like that they do give her vigilante outfit you know a, a yellow and blue scheme so they, they are doing uh, something uh, to, to try to connect it to the comics you know just just a little bit um, but Jessica meets up with this guy named Eric, and yes, it is spelled like my name. Uh, I wasn't too happy about that because I kind of felt like he was just a douche, and he was just like talking about like how he makes the best burgers, and that's like how he's like trying to get in Jessica's pants. I'm like, get this nigga out of here! Or, 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 when, I, when I saw it, I, I, I started liking him a lot more once we start seeing you know connection he has different characters, and you know start seeing the performance, but. If they were trying to charm me with him saying I can make burgers for you, I'm just like, nah, 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 get your, get your ass on my face with that shit. Um, but one, but he is important because the the big antagonist, uh, Gregory as uh, the Salinger, uh, was trying to get to him. But he ends up stabbing Jessica Jones, and you know she, she ends up in the hospital and shit. And we have this really corny ass fucking doctor, you know, just trying to tell medical jokes and like. Now, him, I, I, I like that. You know, I, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, get his bitch ass out of here because it, it's 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 supposed to be funny how unfunny he is. Like, 
If someone were to slap him up, I, I would fucking die from laughter. Um, but yeah. Uh, now Trish is after this guy named uh, Andrew Brandt, and you know he has something is uh, safe. You know it, it's uh, he, he got it by being linked to um, one of his relatives dying, and he, like he, he, he's working for someone else. Meanwhile, we learn more about Eric and that he has to pay debts to this uh, older lady with these guys that try to drown people in their back pool while they're like barbecuing hot dogs because why not? We've done so many of like bad guys need to like pay someone else and like how do we hurt them? Like, well, we had like this one show we have like... uh, like electrocuting someone to their nipples, you, you have like putting a you know, sword to someone's neck, you, you have guns to the head, you, you, you have like uh, pushing someone off of a boat, like pirate style. It's like, oh, let's just have a pool in someone's backyard. Uh, which I don't have a problem with, I was just like consciously thinking about that when those scenes came along. Um, Jerry comes back to her old uh, romantic flame named Kith, uh, who is now married to this guy named Peter. And Jerry's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm trying to get in there. And Kith is like, uh, I don't know. And then we have some hot cello playing lesbianism because every show needs that, obviously. Uh, and, you know, they, they start. Uh, Getting him relationship again, and she, you know, Kith is like telling Jerry, he's like, "Don't worry about it." Me and my husband have an open relationship, and Malcolm was initially trying to like try to dig up dirt on him, and Jerry was doing it the whole time to like try to separate the two, and going into his finances and find out that he had been embezzling money, and you know, eventually, so much restraints put in his marriage and his uh, finances that this man commit suicide and then Jerry is blamed for his death I'm like okay wow that's very interesting and like Kit goes away for a couple episodes I'm like whoa I'm like are we going to see her again um now the main antagonist is a serial killer uh Salinger um uh do do really like uh, the performance from this actor um that like find uh, you know, some dead bodies in, in a train that are just like, like very swampy, and it's like, oh, that's fucking disgusting. And Jessica almost, uh, you know, Jessica gets kidnapped at one point. Uh, Eric gets kidnapped by the same guy. He, you know, he likes taking pictures of his victim, and he wants them to admit, you know, their faults and uh, why they're a fraud. And, like they're not as altruistic as they want to believe. Um, and he also ca- kidnaps uh, Dorothy, who is. Uh, you know, well, Jessica and Trish's mother, but uh, the biological mother of Trish that, you know, forced her back in the day to be in, you know, the the shitty uh, sitcom called uh, It's Patsy. Uh, and she gets fucking murked by the serial killer. You're like, oh shit. And Trish is like, I- I'm going off the deep end. And she, like, puts... Uh, a knife to Salinger's neck just has to stop her and Trish goes off the fucking deep end and starts just she, 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 you know she kills one person accidentally and then she starts getting a taste of like this is this is justice she starts turning into uh, Punisher with, with no fucking guns and Jessica has to confront her own sister and like at the stop her even someone that she doesn't want necessarily to live but she doesn't want just uh you know her sister uh trish to do it she she knows how much taking a life can take out of you because she's the one that snapped kilgrave's neck and uh you know she she let her own uh mother from the second season be taken out because she's like okay I'll, i'll let that slide and no one knows it was you so i i thought that was all uh, very interesting. Um, it, halfway through the, the season, 
we we learn uh, a lot of like Malcolm's development. Uh, he is now with, uh, well, he was working for Jerry. And they were working in the same firm under Jerry with uh, his girlfriend uh, Zaya, and then he starts cheating on Zaya with Eric's sister, who is a prostitute. And you know he had to, like beat up the pimp and Jessica like t- took you know Barry the prostitute to make sure she wouldn't get hurt at his apartment. And then they start fucking, and you know now they're together. Now, honestly, like I, I see more uh, like connection with uh, Barry and Malcolm rather than uh, Malcolm and Zaya. Uh, like, and, and you know, like the last scene we see of Malcolm was like a really awkward scene. I mean, awkward in like a good way. Like, it, I do think it is. It could have been done way too much for laughs, and it could have been way too much, like, overly dramatic, and just like, uh, like, oh god, this is way too soap opera-ish. Uh, but, y- you know, he, like, s- says, uh, I love you, Zaya, but, you know, fucking Barry's behind him and shit, and she's like, oh, you're gonna trick her too, and she just, like, walks away. But it, it was very, it's crazy to see Trish just... S- you know, fucking kills Salinger while he's in custody and then fucking elevator and just like, wow, this, this bitch is, is on some serious shit. Um, but yeah, uh, overall, I, I do think uh, this was a very, it was a good entry in the Marvel Netflix uh, series is, and this is supposed to be the last season from Marvel Netflix. Uh, I would like to see, you know, these actors come back as the roles. Uh, it was it was very nice to see uh, Luke Cage again. Uh, I immediately perked up uh, when I saw him and, you know, uh, he was mentioning uh, his issues with his uh, villain from season one of Luke Cage. And I'm like, okay, cool. And, I mean, I... I, I, I like that uh, actor so much. I, I kind of wish that he could have been around more. Uh, there's like two other characters I wish they could have shown more of, and that's uh, the 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 painting neighbor uh, who was like the love interest of Jessica in the second season, and his son. We, we only saw them very briefly. Uh, but yeah, uh, I had a lot of fun watching it uh i think one of the most visceral parts of the show was before she, she like gets in a small wrestling match with salinger when he's still alive and you know this, this is just teaching little kids how to wrestle and this who god and god knows how many fucking people he's killed like probably like 15 human beings just sliced up and diced is like god damn and he's like oh this is how you do the position get the fuck out of here with that shit um yeah, before that, uh, Jessica Jones, like, lifts up a, gaz- uh, a gazebo and, like, throws it up. He, she goes to the hometown where Salinger is from to try to, well, dig up dirt of, like, how, he, you know, he had killed uh, his best friend uh, back in high school. He had buried him under the gazebo that his parents were just chilling on and they didn't want to... Oh, I'm sorry, the, the, the other kid's parents, you know, just chilled on and just thought he may have just went away and it never came back. He's like, no, he's been buried under the place that you probably had a lot of drinks and cookouts on. He was buried there and he's been there for well over a decade. I'm like, well, damn, that's, that's fucked. Um, but yeah, you know, just like uh, all the other shows, it has, uh, you know, good cinematography it has good musical cues it has uh, good acting um you know i didn't find out to uh, recently that uh like both malcolm uh malcolm's actor and the actress that plays um trish are both uh, australian and i'm just like wow they do a, a f- fucking great american accents if I-, I couldn't like remotely tell uh, at any point of watching three seasons and, you know, 
paying pretty good attention. This season, uh, you know, there were some scenes here and there that I, I didn't see because I was like busy doing something else. I was just kind of like hearing it, but and, and that's not to say that it was like disengaged or anything. Uh, it was just. Uh, I was busy doing other things. So overall, I do not feel disingenuous in giving this season a, a B plus. I do not like it as much as uh, Jessica Jones season two. Uh, that was the high water mark for me. Um, it, it is nowhere near uh, like how much I enjoyed like uh, Luke Cage or um, Daredevil or Punisher, but. I still really do like it and would recommend it if you had seen the previous two seasons. Uh, I, I think there is a lot of good character development. Uh, Trish just goes fucking crazy. I was expecting her to become a villain and her to be taken away on a fucking helicopter. And, uh, and, and at the end, Jessica wants to leave uh, New York and leaves Alias uh, Investigations behind. Uh, but when she's like trying to get on a train, she like senses the presence of Kilgrave. Now, since this is supposed to be like the end of Marvel Netflix, it makes me wonder what would be the the plan for that for the following season. You know, it, it's a cliffhanger, uh, like tease for another season that unfortunately we're probably not going to get. Uh, I, I highly doubt this is going to be on, you know, the, the new Disney Plus uh, streaming site. So I, I don't know what they're going to do. Um, but if this is the last one, uh, you know, fucking salute to everyone that has put in, you know, the acting, you know, the directing, you know, uh, the sound design, just everything that... Some of the best television, some of the best performances of these characters, and only uh, portrayals of these characters, will be remembered. Um, Daredevil, Punisher, Iron Fist, Defenders, Luke Cage. Uh, like th 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 they are shows that will be remembered and will be reminisced upon. Uh, it, it is pretty bittersweet that this is the end. But at the same time, the ride is was very enjoyable, and we can always go back to it. Even if this isn't, uh, like let's say Marvel, uh, sorry Disney decides that they don't want to have their titles on Netflix anymore. Like there's still gonna be DVD releases. There's still gonna be a, a way to watch these. Uh, so thank you to Marvel. Uh, Television studios and Netflix for just bringing us this age that started back um, a little bit over four years ago. Um, you, you really have provided us with some really good entertainment. So tell me what y'all think uh, of this season. It, do you like it more? Do you like it less than previous entries, uh, including from Jessica Jones show itself? Um, and as part of Quentin Critics, you know I love you.